So we want to find the volume of a solid with base bounded by the curves y equals x squared. And let's go ahead and just take a look at these as we're doing it. So y equals x squared and 8 minus x squared. So those two curves. So we're talking about this region here as the base with cross sections that are semicircles. And the question left, actually left out some information here. So it needs to be the cross sections parallel to the y axis here. So really, we're going to be talking about cross sections this way. And if we slice the curve this way, that cross section is going to be a semicircle. So a little semicircle, a little bit of thickness. Now, because I'm not drawing this particularly well here, let me pop up a better picture of this for us. So here we go. Here is that r same region we're talking about. Here's a slice. And here's the 3D look. There is that semicircular slice parallel to the y-axis above that shape. And you'll notice we can drag where we're slicing and we get different semicircles depending upon where we slice because the base of the semicircle uh, is based on the height here, the difference between the two functions. Now if we take all those solids together, uh, sorry, all those slices together, then we get the actual shape we're talking about, which is this sort of funny, uh, looking shape here, right? And again, the idea there is we're getting the semicircular shape for each slice. So now let's go back and see if we can set this up. So this side we saw what corresponded to the difference between these functions here. So given any x value, if we can find the y value here, because that's from this curve, so this y value is x squared. This y value is 8 minus x squared. And so the difference between them, this distance here, will be 8 minus x squared minus x squared, right? The difference between the functions. So 8 minus 2x squared. And that d length corresponds with this length here. So now we need to think, how do I find the volume of this slice? Well, it's half of a circle with a little bit of thickness. So for a circle, the area of the face would be pi r squared with a little bit of thickness here. And the little bit of thickness here corresponds to a little change in x, so dx. In this particular case, what is the radius of this circle? Well, the radius is going to be half of this entire length, right? This entire length is the diameter. So the radius is going to be half of this 8 minus 2x quantity, or in other words, it's going to be 4 minus x squared. So we got 1 half pi times 4 minus x squared squared, right? Because that's r squared squared. And there's the volume for one slice. The total volume then will be the integral of that from this intersection to this intersection. So technically, we need to figure out where these two curves cross. So let's do that real quick. So we've got x squared equals 4, so x equals plus or minus 2. So these intersections occur at negative 2 and 2. So we're integrating from negative 2 to 2, 1 half pi r squared. Sorry, forgot my squared there. Uh, 4 minus x squared squared dx. There's the volume of that solid that we saw here.